Hi, I'm Mike, and on this installment of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to talk about the differences between Chevy V8 water pumps. One of the questions we commonly get is uh, what water pump is right for my Chevy V8, whether it be a small block or a big block Chevy. And the reason for this is because Chevy developed two different type water pumps for these engine types, a short type and a long type. And physically looking at these pumps, a lot of times when they're mounted on the engine, it's difficult to tell which version you have on your engine. So today we're going to go ahead and discuss the differences between the pumps and how to determine which pump you actually have installed on your engine so that when you go to replace this pump, you order the correct one. So how do you go about determining which version you have on your engine? Well, usually I'll just take a tape measure and take a measurement from the mounting flange to the hub surface of the pump. Your typical long version pump will be roughly six and seven eighths inches tall from that surface to the hub surface, whereas in comparison your short pump will be roughly five and five eighths from the mounting surface to the hub surface. Now there was a year split between the years in which these pumps were used. The short pump was used most commonly on 1968 and earlier applications, and the long pump was used on 69 and, and later applications. The thing about this is, is you can't guarantee that that one, one or the other is going to hold true for your, your specific vehicle. Reason being is a lot of engine swaps have happened over the years where they've taken complete engines including the accessory drives and all the components that go with that and swapped it into early model vehicle, vehicles or vice versa. So it's really best uh, to confirm which version is on your engine via taking a measurement or taking uh, physically looking at the pump to determine which one your vehicle actually has on it. Now, the one exception to the year break rule is the Corvette. Uh, Corvette applications held on to the short type water pump for a much longer period. In fact, it, it carried on to the point in which they, uh, they quit using belt driven water pumps. Um, in most cases, it's not really possible to go ahead and switch to a, a long pump in a Corvette application because of radiator clearance issues. The radiator is a lot closer to the engine in a Corvette in comparison to your, your standard Camaro or truck application. So make sure if you do have a Corvette and you're doing an engine swap that you go ahead and, and swap over the proper accessories as well from the original motor because if you don't, the long water pump that's on that later model motor that maybe you're putting in there may not work with that engine compartment setup. The last thing you need to consider before selecting the proper pump for your application is the snout diameter. It's right here. Uh, the snout can affect the way your pulleys fit as well as the way your fan assembly fits. GM used two different versions. They used a 5 8 which is the most common, and they also used the heavy duty version, which was 3 quarters inch. Um, make sure that you confirm which one your vehicle had before selecting the proper pump for your vehicle. You, there is another way that you can determine which version pump you have just by taking a vis visual inspection of the engine. You can see here how the gap in between the pump and the block is very narrow. This typically indicates that you have a, a short type pump on your engine assembly. In comparison, on a long water pump application, there will be a much larger gap between the pump and the block assembly to the extent that you can almost put your hand in between the two.